Welcome to video PN17, Probability Theory, How to Divide Stakes of a Game in Progress. It's from Lesson 5, Example 14. And before I do anything, it's the first probability problem solved by Blaise Pascal, Pierre Fermat, in 1654. So this is kind of where it all came from. Okay, let me get some room here. So a game is won by the first player to score four out of seven points, similar to the World Series winning four games out of the best of seven series. Suppose player A has two points and player B has one point. It could be like the Red Sox having won two games and the Cardinals having won one game or something like that. The game must be suspended for some reason. Both players have equal ability, so 50-50 chance to win each uh, game. Um, draw a probability tree on how the game could have finished. Find the probability that A would have won, the probability that B would have won, and then if the stakes are $10,000 for winning the whole thing, how much money should we divide between the two players? And that's where the problem uh, really originated from. Okay, so just to give myself some more room, I'm going to erase this. Let's just remember um, A has two points, B has one point, and you got to uh, get four to win. So A has two, B has one. Okay, so I'm going to say A, A, B. This has already happened. Okay, then let's branch off. Again, remember you need four to win the game, four points to win the game. So a point, a point, a point. So I could branch off. Either A could win the next point or B could win the next point. All right, so if I take this branch, A's only won two, B's only won one, so I'm gonna to continue to branch off. All right, over here I'm gonna circle it, which means stop. A's already won four points. One, two, three, four. Over here, B's only won two. I'm going to branch more. One, two, three, four for A. That's a stopper. One, two, three for B. Let's continue on. One, two, three, four for A. One, two, three, four for B. So I'm circling the stoppers. Um, all right, so likewise, I'll branch here, A and B. Um, nobody's got four points yet. A and B, one, two, four for A, one, two, only three for B. One, two, three, four for A. One, two, three, four for B. Nobody yet. One, two, three, four for A. One, two, three, four for B. One, two, three, four for B. So, Basically, I can say this was like game one or point one, point two, point three, point four, point five, point six, point seven. So um, a one after the. It's better if we did it in games, but either way. All right. So let me put the probabilities down now. They're all 0.5, so 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, If the teams were not of equal ability, let's say that one was better, like 60 to 40 percent, you know, to put the 0.6s and 0.4s or whatever. Okay, so that was just for the tree. Probability that A would have won. So what I gotta do is compute all the probabilities for A winning. So I've got this branch. 
I've got this branch, I've got this branch, I've got this branch, I've got, okay, it's gonna get a little bit confusing. So people are circled over here, 0 0.5 times point, 0 0.5. So um, for A, I've got a 0.5 squared, that's that one. This is a 0.5 cubed. I've got two of those. And this is a 0.5 to the fourth. One, two, three, four. And I've got one, two, three of those. So again, 0.5 squared is that one. 2.5 cubes, that's those two. 3.5 to the fourths, that's those three. I'll compute that later. For B, let's see what's going on with B. They've got one here, and that's a 0.5 cubed. One, two, three. And then they've got one, two, three there, and that's a 0.5 to the fourth. So I'll compute those and then divide the stakes accordingly. Okay, so let me punch those two out. All right, so for team A first, 0.5 squared plus two times 0.5 raised to the third plus three times 0.5 raised to the fourth, and they get 0.6875. If all goes according to plan, point B's probability should add up to, to, to A's probability to be one. Let's hope that happens. All right, for B, I'll clear this. I've got 0.5 cubed. Let me clear that. 0.5 cubed plus three times 0.5 to the fourth. and I get 0.3125. Those will add up to one, so that makes sense. And then how should the stakes be divided? Well, if the game had to be stopped at this point, it only seems fair since uh, player A had a greater probability of winning that he should get a greater share of the stakes. So we'll just multiply the stakes by each probability. So $10,000, that's just moving the decimal place uh, four places. So one, two, three, four. So A should get $68.75, and B should get $31.25. And there you have it, how to use probability theory to divide the stakes of a game that has been interrupted.